Dear congregation, today we gather to delve into the profound truth of the Holy Spirit's role in our lives as believers. In the pages of Scripture and in the depths of our hearts, we encounter the divine presence of the Holy Spirit, who empowers, guides, and comforts us in our journey of faith. Let us open our hearts and minds to receive a deeper understanding of the Holy Spirit's work and significance in our lives. John 14, 16, 17 and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another Comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him. For he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. The Holy Spirit is not merely a concept, but a divine person who dwells within believers. Jesus promised the Holy Spirit as our Comforter and Advocate, who abides with us forever. Let us recognize the precious gift of the Holy Spirit, who indwells us and empowers us to live victoriously in Christ. John 16, 13. Howbeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. The Holy Spirit guides us into all truth and reveals the mysteries of God's word to us. As we yield to the Holy Spirit's leading, He convicts us of sin, righteousness, and judgment, guiding us in the paths of righteousness and illuminating the way ahead. Let us lean on the Holy Spirit for wisdom and discernment in every aspect of our lives. Acts 1.8 But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. The Holy Spirit empowers believers to fulfill the Great Commission and be witnesses for Christ. Through the infilling of the Holy Spirit, we receive supernatural power to overcome obstacles, share the gospel boldly, and impact the world around us. Let us rely on the Holy Spirit's power to carry out God's mission with courage and boldness. Galatians 5, 23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. The Holy Spirit produces spiritual fruit in our lives, transforming us from the inside out. As we abide in Christ and walk in step with the Holy Spirit, His fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control is evident in our character and conduct. Let us cultivate the fruit of the Spirit in our lives, reflecting the image of Christ to the world. 1 Corinthians 12, 4, 11. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the selfsame Spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. The Holy Spirit distributes spiritual gifts to believers for the edification of the body of Christ. Each believer receives unique gifts from the Holy Spirit, equipping them to serve God and others effectively. Let us eagerly seek and utilize the spiritual gifts bestowed upon us by the Holy Spirit, fulfilling our calling and glorifying God through our ministries. 1 Corinthians 12, 12, 13 For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body being many are one body, so also is Christ. For by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one Spirit. The Holy Spirit unites believers from every background and nationality into one body, the body of Christ. Through the work of the Holy Spirit, we are baptized into the body of Christ, sharing a common faith and purpose. Let us embrace our unity in the Spirit and strive for harmony and love within the body of Christ. Vi. The comfort of the Holy Spirit, Romans 8, 26, 27, KJV. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. In times of weakness and uncertainty, the Holy Spirit provides comfort and intercedes for us in prayer. Even when we do not know how to pray, the Holy Spirit intercedes on our behalf, 
aligning our prayers with God's perfect will. Let us find solace in the comforting presence of the Holy Spirit, knowing that He understands our deepest needs and petitions God on our behalf. Galatians 5, 16, 17. This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. The Holy Spirit empowers believers to live holy and righteous lives, overcoming the desires of the flesh. By walking in the Spirit, we are able to resist temptation and live according to God's will. Let us yield to the leading of the Holy Spirit, crucifying the flesh and allowing His sanctifying work to transform us into vessels of honor for God's glory. Acts 2.38 Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Through repentance and baptism, believers receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, who dwells within them and empowers them for life and ministry. Let us recognize the Holy Spirit as our divine partner in fulfilling God's purposes on earth, relying on His strength and wisdom in every endeavor. Revelation 22:17, And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is athirst come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. The Holy Spirit extends an invitation to all who thirst for spiritual refreshment and renewal. Whoever desires may come and partake of the living water freely offered by the Holy Spirit. Let us respond to the Holy Spirit's invitation with open hearts and receive His life-transforming power, experiencing the fullness of God's presence and blessings in our lives. Dear brothers and sisters, as we reflect on the multifaceted work of the Holy Spirit in our lives, may we be filled afresh with His presence and power. Let us continue to walk in step with the Holy Spirit, allowing Him to comfort, guide, empower, and sanctify us for God's glory. As we surrender to the Holy Spirit's leading, may we be vessels of His love, truth, and power in a world in need of God's grace. Amen.